Welcome to Morning Manna. We are in the book of Psalms, and it is rich and rewarding. And uh, we are currently in Psalm 27. We got about halfway through last time. And uh, we said that Psalm 27 probably was written upon the occasion of David almost dying in battle and uh, getting rescued by one of his mighty men. And then the guy's essentially forbidding David from putting himself in that position anymore. And uh, they began to call David the light of Israel. They didn't want the light of Israel to go out. And David starts the psalm by saying, the Lord is my light and my salvation. And, uh, and it's a beautiful psalm. So we'll pick it up uh, down in verse 8 where David continues now. You have said, seek my face. My heart says to you, your face, Lord, do I seek. <laughs> so David senses the voice of the Lord saying, seek me. And David says, yes, sir, I will seek you. You know, Jesus likened the, the moving of God, the Holy Spirit in our lives to wind and and I think um, developing a, a sensitivity towards that, that movement of the Lord in our life is a, is a wonderful thing to do. Um, you know, imagine being a, a hang glider, you know, you're always wanting to catch that updraft and, and be able to just soar and float and have an amazing ride. And, you know, in a sense, the wind of God's Spirit is always blowing. And, and so it's for us to, to catch that updraft, to have an awareness of the Lord um, at any given moment in our days. And, uh, and so David hears the Lord, senses the Lord saying, seek me. And David says, I will seek you, Lord. Verse 9, uh, hide not your face from me. Turn not your servant away in anger, O you who have been my help. Cast me not off, forsake me not, O God of my salvation. For my father and my mother have forsaken me, but the Lord will take me in. So a common theme in David's Psalms is that uh, people let him down. And Oftentimes, there's, there's disappointment in, in relationships, and somebody that you trust uh, turns out to, you know, uh, you know to, to be not loyal to you, and, and David experienced that a lot. But what David did with that fact of life, and it's really a fact of all of our lives to one degree or another, he turned his trust to the Lord. He didn't, he didn't overestimate. He had a realistic understanding of human nature. And then he turned his trust to the Lord. The Lord would not turn him away, would not be unfaithful to David. And that's true for you, too, Christian, is that you're, some people are going to let you down in your life. It's inevitable. And you're going to let some people down. Uh, it's, it's part of the story of being fallen people in a fallen world. And so the, the stability for us being in such shaky kinds of conditions and relationships is to have our feet firmly on the rock, to trust in the Lord. Uh, his, his promises are sure, and he will not let us down. That was David's focus. So he goes on in verse 13, I believe I shall look upon the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. What a statement. Right now, I'm in the land of the dying, David is saying. I'm in the land of death. People are dying all the time, all around me. I'm going to die. Listen, we're in the land of the dying currently. But I believe and I know that I will see the goodness of the Lord in the land of the living. We're moving from the land of shadows and death to the land of the living, eternal life. Finally, wait for the Lord, be strong, and let your heart take courage. Wait for the Lord. Now that's a 
that's a, that's a word for somebody that's listening to this right now. Wait for the Lord. Be strong in him. Let your heart take courage in him. Wait for the Lord. Those who wait for the Lord, they will mount up as on wings of eagles, and they will not grow weary, and their strength will be renewed. Wait on the Lord. God bless you guys. Thank you.